रिक्वायरमेंट्स एक तो क्लाइंट की होती हैं एंड आई थिंक आर्किटेक्ट का ये होता है कि टू सी वेन ऑल द रिसोर्स टाइम एंड एनर्जी इज पुट इन टू अ प्रोजेक्ट इट इज नॉट अ टेम्प्री बिल्डिंग और अ टेम्प्री पीस ऑफ वर्क इट्स गोइंग टू स्टे फॉर कपल ऑफ डेकेट्स सो लाइफ चेंजेस ट्रांजेक्शन होती है उस सारी चीज़ को मद्देनज़र रख के स्पेशली इफ समी इज थिंकिंग ऑफ अ लार्ज स्केल प्रोजेक्ट एंड सिंस आई न्यू दैम पर्सनली सो आई रिकमेंडेड दैट वील मेक इट लाइक वन होम बट इट इट्स एसेंशली थ्री होम्स इन वन सो बिकॉज दे हैव टू सन्स एंड दे वर वेरी स्मॉल एट दैट टाइम एंड द क्लाइंट थाट दैट यू नो they were studying abroad and who's going to come back to pakistan i said well if you make the space if you make the place for them which is fully independent and why wouldn't they want to come back and uh, so lo and behold this is what happened so i created two independent three bedroom apartments complete with kitchen and maid room and laundry and separate access for the servants so that you know they're fully functioning uh, three independent homes and uh, uh, the benefit and the luxury is that anybody can travel any time and uh, they have their privacy and when they want to come together everybody comes together like a family and uh, you know uh, that's how you create happy spaces and because when you give spaces to people which uh, retain their privacy but also spaces where they can commune together as a family uh, so this was i think a big achievement and uh, uh, so uh, as the project proceeded they said we will not uh, you know obviously there is an expense that we will not complete i said well you know you can complete the structure of the houses and we can um, uh, you know uh, put in tiles and expensive fixtures and fittings later on and as it is every 6 months uh, to a year things are changing and then we will uh, put in uh, new fixtures and fittings I'll uh, talk a little bit about the layout of the house. As you can see, there's a left wing and a right wing. So, ये जो shape इसलिए बनी क्योंकि for this tree, ताकि मैं इस दरख्त को, which is an old people tree, उसको नहीं मैं remove करना चाह रही थी. So basically, this house also is home to three families: two families on the first floor and uh, one family on the ground floor. and the space i have connected the outdoor to the interior which is a double height space which is a common space for all three families to enjoy and that space again flows out uh, to the exterior so is ghar ki baat ye ki har jagah pe maine verandas create kiye and uh, uh, spaces where people can sit and of course it uh, gives protection from the sun and uh, you know really drops down the ambient temperature As you can see, the feel of this house is colonial Indo style. So, um, furniture भी इस घर में हमारा जो सब कॉन्टिनेंटल फर्नीचर है इट ईजली ब्लेंड्स इन एज यू कैन सी इट इज इन द कॉरिडोर एंड देव यूज देर ओल्ड फर्नीचर ऑल्सो सो दिस प्लेस रियली बिकेम अ होम फॉर द ओल्ड एंड द न्यू एंड यूल सी द मिक्स वंस यू गो इन साइड First of all doing the layout of this house was very difficult because it was a very odd shaped plot and then I wanted to save the big tree and uh, uh, ground floor ko plan karna phir swimming pool ko aur uski ek certain length bhi ho but then you also want to create that um, breathing space around the pool and uh, uh, create that kind of illusion and i i would like to talk about the pool because it's one of its kind at one uh, side it's deck level and the other side it's the infinity edge 
because uh, the client somehow wanted the both. And uh, I think uh, uh, Aliza Farkazi, who did the construction and the construction management of this project, did a excellent job. The other thing uh, that was challenging, since this was an odd shaped plot, when uh, I was doing the arches, and you know, I had this in mind that how will it be constructed. So the pitches had to be of the same height or the same width, uh, because otherwise it would have been a construction nightmare and that project would have taken a long time because timeline is something that you have to think and I think, I think it's an architect's thing to think of how that thing will be made and uh, you know the projects don't have to go on forever even though like it's a, um, a you know a quite a huge project uh, when it comes to a residential project with a lot of detailing and specialized craftsmanship is there I would say um, uh, the kind of woodwork that's in this house uh, you're seeing it after 12 years. It is immaculate because uh, our master craftsman, I would never want to call him the carpenter because he's of another level, especially he went to Karachi to get this wood and took his sweet time. And he took time, but it's well worth it. So uh, I think time, you have to see where you need to spend time and where you need to, uh, where you can cut short time. Since I knew uh, what they would like, so we ordered fi uh, fixtures and fittings before the construction of the house and also the, uh, the floor because that was going to take quite some time. So long lead items we ordered before the construction of the house. And uh, the main thing I think uh, uh, we could do this work with so much of passion and ease because the client had complete trust and faith in us. He had left everything uh, in our hands and so we wanted to deliver the best and uh, so construction costs were cut. For the columns, we created form work um, uh, out of fiberglass uh, so that uh, the, the time, uh, we can cut short the time and we can do the pouring. And for the arches, we did two stencils because it was not possible to get, uh, uh, you know, a single, a, a similar uh, size of an arch throughout the house. Basically, client ka brief tha, they wanted something classical and jo perception hoti logon ki, basic they want the English style which I think aaj kal aap DHA mein bhi aise ghar kaafi dekh rahe honge jo ban rahe the. But uh, to, for me, especially if somebody wanted a classical style, I would have uh, wanted to give them their dream but also make it regionally appropriate. So, iske liye phir maine uh, unki jo khwaishat unko madde nazar rakha. The, the kind of uh, expression that I wanted to give, which was relevant in our context, uske liye phir maine unko bataya ke hum, we can look at uh, Portuguese architecture, which is simple, 
uh, cost effective and uh, obviously colonial architecture as well because uh, um, it's uh, 42 degrees outside and I'm uh, standing in a non-air conditioned space. This is because uh, this uh, project mein basically verandas humne create kiye, humne walls ki thicknesses ko maintain kiya, usme insulation di, ceilings mein insulation di, and these were the relevant sort of strategies that we wanted to uh, have in the project. And other than that, the outward, um, the look of the project is classical, but it's very simple. Jo ke hamari environment, jisme itni pollution, itni dust hai. Now you create so many grooves and lines and all the dust is there. So maintenance is also an aspect when you are doing um, projects like these. But this project ki class basically comes from richness of material, good quality construction. I think is uh, my favorite space is outside because there is a purana darakht and I wanted to retain that old tree. I think purane darakht jo hote unki apni ek uh, wo bhi buzurgon ki tarah hote. So uh, even though it was very challenging for me ke maine sara jo layout hai I uh, uh, you know configured it around that tree to retain that tree. And as you come in from the outside to inside and you come in this huge space which uh, uh, opens up to the exterior again. It connects you to nature again. And I think it is that uh, client architect relationship which is built in trust uh, us trust ki wajah se aap you want to do better than uh, you know uh, what the the client would uh, sort of aspire uh, to achieve in a project you know